welcome class 10 students for geography class chapter 6 the topic is regional geography of india this is the map of india where we see the neighboring countries as well as india here we have to know the size of india from north to south is extension and east to west extension what kind of uh, india's land features are there its climate population and everything as an introduction we shall see here about india india is situated in the northern hemisphere it is the largest democratic nation in the world which is in asia it is within the continent of Asia. India is so vast and so there are lots of diversities. Diversities meaning what? Diversities meaning its varieties. Varieties in its climate, varieties in physical environment and varieties in socio-economic condition. When we talk Diversities in its climate. We see in India there are cold climates in the northern in the northern India, while hot climate in certain parts of India like Rajasthan. There are heavy rainfalls and it creates flood in certain regions of India, while others have drought type condition where there is scanty rainfall. In some regions of India, there are tall trees with broad leaves, while in certain regions of India, there are thorny bushes, especially those areas where scanty rainfall is there and sandy soils are available. There are also land variations, different types of lands we have in India. There are mountains, hills, plateaus, plains flood plains etc and when we talk about the socio-economic condition we see our societies are tribal societies and urban societies tribal societies mostly live in the rural areas and villages while urban societies live in the towns and urban areas as we see India is a diversified in so many things but still india is unity in diversity india is united although it is being divided with its climate physical environment and socio-economic condition because it has a long cultural base similar physical condition modern transport and communication trade and commerce along with unified administration grown in recent years that is why we say india is in unity in diversity now again we shall see here location and size of india where india is located we see in the figures and the maps that boundary lines of india in the northern side of India, there are China, Nepal, Bhutan and Himalayas. While in the southern side, there are Sri Lanka and Indian Ocean. While in the western side, Pakistan and Arabian Sea. And in the eastern side, Bay of Bengal, Myanmar and Bangladesh. Here, what is this KK? From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, it is 3214 kilometer in length the, from Arunachal Pradesh to Saurastra it is 2933 this is north and south direction extension while this is west and east direction the length and breadth of India where India is situated if common question comes we have to write latitudinal and longitudinal positions. Lati latitudinally, India stands 
8 degree 4 inch north and 37 degree 6 inch north latitude and longitudes 68 degree 7 inch east and 97 degree 25 inch east. In the middle of India, one important line that is passing, that is known as Tropic of Cancer. Its degree is 23 degree 30 inch north, which runs in the midway. And so India is being divided by Tropic of Cancer in two halves. Northern side of Tropic of Cancer and southern, southern part of Tropic of Cancer. Northern side has temperate climate and the southern side has tropical type of climate. And the land frontiers where the land is passing. The land frontiers where the land is being touched by other neighboring countries are known as land frontiers. It is around 15,200 kilometers. That is the land frontiers. Why? This is the coastline. Coastline. This coastline is about 7,516 kilometers in length, including Indian islands. Why we call India? A subcontinent. In we call India a subcontinent because it is very vast country. Its size is seventh in the world, and it is thirteen times larger than United Kingdom, four times larger than Japan, and the geographical e total area is three two eight seven two six three square kilometer. That is 2.2% of the total geographical area of the world. At present we have 28 states in India and 7 union territories. This is the introduction for today. Next time we shall see about the physiography of India. Thank you.